Uh, I've actually, I'm, my body's actually feeling probably better now than it did at the start of the season uh, and midway through the season. So um, it's just it's just a challenge for everyone right now, and you sort of got to accept it. And I think we've done that really well as a group, and uh, it just means a lot more recovery, a lot more time in the in the ocean, the ice baths, and all that sort of stuff. But it's kind of um, you know exciting challenge for uh, for our playing group and, and myself personally facing these new challenges. And body seems to be holding up okay, and and really exciting for for what's ahead. Oh, probably a little bit, um, and it's, I mean, we're so used to six, seven day breaks and, and the routine of that, and um, you, you don't know what your body can do off the, the shorter turnaround, and it just shows that, um, you know, the body can handle a lot a lot of stuff, and, and you know, the shorter breaks, are, as long as you manage yourself right, and we've done that really good as a, as a playing group and as a club, that you can turn it around quite quick. I was, you know, probably not 100% going into, um, you know, the four day break, but, but certainly enough to to uh, to go out there and play, but it's been a yeah, it's been an exciting challenge. Did you see that being something that in the future you would mind seeing on the pitch every now and then? I don't think it could last all season. Um, I think you know it's exciting for fans having this this footy frenzy or whatever they're calling it uh, during this period and, and having footy on every night. It's been been quite fun. So it could be something that goes into a, into the fixture in, in small parts, but I don't think you could do it for the whole season. I'm, We've seen a lot of injuries, um, you know, and there's there's probably guys resting uh, as well. So I don't think it can last the whole season, but I think it's it's quite fun if you do it in small small doses. This week, you had a little bit of a longer break than previously, but you've had to get a little bit more done on the track. And how's that through? Yeah, so we've just had a, a one session, sort of a recovery session so far. We've got our main session today, so we'll probably be able to do a lot more out there today, which is uh, which will be nice. Um, but again, we're in, in small groups and stuff, but it'd be just good to get a run around again and, and probably do a little bit more out there and, and then we'll have a captain's run before we, we head up. But it'll, yeah, it'll be probably pretty nice having that extra day break and uh, then going back up to Queensland where, um, you know, where we've performed quite well. So it's uh, yeah, another exciting week. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we're up against a really, really good side in Geelong and um, you know, they played some fantastic footy uh, the other night. And, um, yeah, off to, off to Metricon where we've had, we do have a good record and we love playing there. But I think we've just embraced every challenge. This week's another challenge for us against a, you know, a high quality side again. And they'll bring um, you know, some challenges on field for us. But uh, you know, our guys are in a really good shape at the moment. We're really enjoying the footy we're playing, the style of footy and, and the connection we've formed as a group and, and all the challenges we've been able to face, we've, uh, you know, we've been excited for. I think you know they're, they're leaders for one. Obviously, Sal and, and Dangerfield through the middle. Hawkins has been in great form up forward, um, but they're just I think they're just well rounded across the whole board. Um, we're going to have challenges in all lines, and um, you know I think they move the ball quite well. They hold the ball quite well, and we'll go through some finer detail stuff today on what they want and, um, and what where we we can try and get them with our with our style, but uh, I think they're just well rounded and led quite well um, with their senior players. So it's going to be a, a good challenge for us. Expect any ins? Um, uh, what, what, is he a chance? Else? Yeah, Mots will be around the mark. So he'll train today. Ebo uh, got through as well. He'll train today. Uh, so those guys have certainly put their hand up for selection. Uh, who knows? Uh, we, we, I don't know with Connor at the moment where where he, sort of he's at after the, after the weekend. Uh, we've still got Toddy probably a few weeks away, um, Birdo's a few weeks away, so um, yeah, the selection will be over uh, today or tomorrow and um, you know, those guys are putting their hands up for, uh, for a return. Given the way you're playing, it's going to be really hard to get back in that team, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean that's the beauty of it, I mean the, the footy we're playing, uh, guys are pushing for selection but there's guys playing some really good footy and that's what you want. Um, certainly in a year like this we've been pretty fortunate with injuries too I think. Um, but that's that's great management by by our staff and our fitness staff and our coaches to to really look after our players, but also the players putting in the work to, to make sure their bodies are sound and uh, they're getting the rewards on on field uh, for that. And, and we're able to to put our best side out there most weeks, which has been great. And it, sorry, I was going to say after that, I think it was an eight day break. How are you going to cope with that? Yeah, I know. Um, it'll be interesting. We'll, we'll miss footy for a while. <laughs> it'll, it'll be great uh, to get a bit of a longer break. But uh, I mean, right now we're just focused on. Uh, the next couple of days and getting up to up to Queensland to play Geelong and um, and then we'll recover after that. <laughs> I don't think anyone can catch him. I reckon he could stop now and he's got it done. He's he's done an outstanding lock, uh, an outstanding year lock, and um, yeah, he's in he's quite rare form and uh, yeah, it's been good to been good to see him, uh, the footy he's been playing and yeah, I don't think anyone can catch him, mate. What's it like to see yourself 
least didn't you come to say? Right? You did it, but I was in there. But you're around the mark up there. Is it, what's that do for a, a player's confidence, I suppose? It's a funny one. Like obviously, you hear a lot uh, of the outside noise, and um, it's kind of a tricky one. You can sort of fall into it and, and listen to it. I mean, because there's good stuff and bad stuff always out there. But but really, the, real, the reality is that none of it's sort of true. You just got to worry about what you can control, and um, you know whether it's good stuff or bad stuff. You just got to continue to focus on the, the process, and that's. I guess what I've been working on over the last couple of years is just really worrying about what I can control and the process of, of what make, makes my game good and um, whatever chat there is, good or bad, outside of outside of that really is is none of my none of my business basically. And I just go out there and play footy. But um, yeah, I know you, you do hear those things and uh, the the uh, yeah the reality is you've just got to focus on what um, what you can control and that's me going out there and preparing and, and playing as best I can. Oh, uh, mate, it's it's really. I mean, the first part of it was really understanding my body and um, and how how I sort of perform and 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 the best ways to sort of op operate. And then from there, you know, when I get sore, how I get sore, what what ways to um, you know adjust to that and, and and fix those things. And I guess over the last couple of years, I've been able to mature in that area. And man, it's just it's just constant. Um, you know, as I spoke before, ice bars, um, recovery boots, massage. All that sort of thing, but I think a lot of it's to do with sleep as well and, and food. And I think you know, as you mature, you start to understand your body a lot more and what works for you. And um, I've sort of found a good little rhythm and uh, and flow of what works for my body and, and the recovery methods that work for that. But look, I just want to get the most out of myself um, and and try and play for as long as I can at a high level. And and that's that's sort of why I do it. But I also try and. Uh, try and help others along the way and, and mentor guys and inspire other guys to get the, the most out of themselves as well. Are you pleased the government's finally some bidding for, for a grand final if um, this is all goes ahead? Yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be amazing for the state if, um, if they could play the, the, the grand final here. I think it's, it'll be a great reward for you know, what's, what this state, state's been able to do, the people within the state, uh, with the restrictions we've been faced. and. Uh, you know what they've been able to do with that. It'd be a great reward for um, all that effort and, and the government and, and, and the people of South Australia. What they've put in is um, would be an outstanding reward for them, and hopefully that can go ahead and um, and they get that reward. If Port does finish top, um, I think there's a, I guess there's a, an argument to post it. Yeah, oh, to be honest, I'm not even not even really concerned about that. Oh, we've got a long way to go before we can even finish top, so. Um, yeah, back to the, the what we can control and the process of that is, is really just winning games and, and hopefully the government sort out what they need to to, to reward the state for uh, and the people of South Australia of what they've been able to do during this tough time. How many years would like to see Ken uh, signed up for? Oh, as many as we can. <laughs> Kenny's been huge and I can't speak highly enough of what Kenny's been able to do for this group and um, I think we've probably seen it a lot more this year of, of uh, you know, Ken and how much he means to this playing group and um, you know the celebration when he was in the circle when um, you know he I think it was his 300th or um, and, and just what he what he means to this club and how much the club means to him is is pretty special and um, yeah I'd love to, to play under him for, for a lot longer. And in hindsight do you think there shouldn't have even been speculation about him being coach? Oh I mean it is what it is I think um, you know the, the our performance over the last couple of years is always going to be reviews and, and questions and, and outside noise as well. So you understand that process and Kenny's just gone on about his business and we love Kenny and he loves the club and we just go out there and play our footy and, and hopefully he gets that reward as well. Can I just ask one more about, I guess, the social media. A few players have said yeah. they've had death threats and that. Uh, what's your feeling on that? Has that happened to you? Yeah, I think everyone gets it, uh, you know, no matter... No matter who you are, whether you're an AFL player, um, any sort of elite sports person, I think um, it's a challenging part of of the industry, and uh, it's disappointing to, to see um, you know people outside on Twitter and Instagram uh, have comments like that about other people. Um, I think you know, as as humans and as people, we've got to respect each other, and um, from our point of view, we're going out there and is doing as best we can um, and trying to 
trying to, to help our team win and uh, unfortunately it doesn't always work and um, you never have, you're not always going to have your best day and um, I think as, as people we've got to respect each other and, and talk to each other in a, um, you know, a respectful way and it's just disappointing to, to see that the, the level of, um, of comments that, that people put out there is, um, is pretty hurtful so I think it was, if it's on the other foot we, we, you know, we respect fans as much as they respect us so I think it's, um, you know, it goes both ways as well.